Hi ladies, it's me again, Mel from Metallics. I'm a pewter and mixed media artist. Um, I work mainly in pewter and copper and I emboss it and I use inks to enhance it. Two of my works are behind me here. Um, those have been used with um, copper and pewter as well as some uh, sewing work and some glass paints. Um, today we're going to be doing a glass a little glass painted candle holder this is the glass painted candle holder all you have in your pack is your glass and your your paints your paints are alcohol inks and your alcohol inks you can just buy them locally um, on Amazon and you can use glass cleaner to clean them with which is that because they're alcohol based okay so if you spill your inks anywhere they don't come off with water so don't try and get them off with water use your cleaning st stuff so rather work on a piece of of plastic okay this is also what i can use the alcohol inks this is my pewter work i usually make some little books bookmarks um some hanging ornaments which are over here here we go here's another one here's one in copper and those have got various inks and waxes and things on them. So that's what we're going to not be doing today. But we're going to be doing the glass painting. Okay, ladies. So this is the glass that we're going to do. This is our. This is the one that you have in your in your package. Um, my one's quite bright. It's got a piece of paper in the inside. So this is what your glass looks like. Here we go. Your glass looks like that. And this is what it'll look like when it's painted. And then you'll take the piece of paper out and you can put a little candle in it. Okay, so these are another two glasses that I've done. This is some glass with the glitter on it. Once I've finally finished my piece, um, I'm going to put glue and some glitter. You can dip the glitter. You've got cotton buds to use for the glitter and the glue. Um, this one is an old, old one that I used with my with a workshop. Uh, the children stuck some mosaics and things on it as well so you can stick if you've got beads or if you've got little glass pieces you can stick those on as well it's quite effective so we're going to start with the little flecks you can see are the glitter so you might get glitter you might need to work on a piece of paper or something that you can throw stuff away so i'm going to show you on a white piece you can see it better on the white piece okay so your this piece is inside okay so we're going to keep it there for the moment and we're going to try not to move it so I think what I normally do is hold my hand in there and work upside down so you're going to use your pen and you're going to trace use your little pinky finger to stabilize your hand because you're going to have to all the way around so I usually start from the top and do the first section like that and then I won't go all the way around because I might smudge it so I'm just going to move it I'm just going to make sure it's back in the right place so I'm going to move it I'm stabilizing it with my hand if you make a mistake, you can take a cotton bud with the cleaner, which is in your in this packet. This is cleaner. You can use that on a cotton bud, and you can take it off. But you, I don't think you'll need to. So this is what I do. As I do it, I move it round and move it round again. And all the time, I'm using my pinky finger to stabilize my hand. Okay. Then you're going to move. Once you've gone all the way around, you're going to move down and do the next row, which are these things. And then you can turn it upside down. And then you then you can hold. And using your pinky finger again, you can draw. Okay, so don't draw from the side. Always have the picture right ahead of you, because if you draw on the side, you might miss it looks like it's on but it's not on the line okay so once it's done 
here's my next glass okay so this is done I'm gonna just take a piece of paper to show you a plain piece of paper okay so here's your glass so then what I've given you is a mat like this and you can use the inks on there so what I'm gonna do is pick up my paintbrush and using the inks on this pad I'm just painting so at the moment I'm just painting the centers so it's quite quick and the paint dries quite quickly and if it does smudge a little bit you can use your cotton pad and you can just take off a little piece okay you can use some cleaner for mine the cleaner is this it's alcohol blending solution don't try and use um, water to clean okay so once it's finished so this is literally all so I'm going to let you guys paint and you can um, I may as well add another color because I'm still here there we go add some purple and then once again I'm stabilizing my hand with my pinky finger and then it doesn't take too long to dry. And also once it's dry, you can always add some more color if there's too little color. Okay, so when we use the paint neat like this, it's quite um, see-through. So if I take this out, it's quite see-through. But if I add white to it, it's quite opaque. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to add some some white to that purple. So then your colour is much thicker. Okay. And then you don't see through it as much. Okay, so it becomes opaque. So I'm just going to use some white on those little things. And ladies also just paint boldly don't don't try and because your hands will shake if you try and paint slowly just paint okay lean your elbow on something and you you're steadying your hand by leaning your elbow on the table okay and if you if you make the edges if the edges come up a bit funny then when it's dry we can always take our black and we can go over it but just wait till all your paint is dry okay so i'm going to show you now Here's your final one. I'm just going to put a piece of white in there and move my paint, move my things away. Okay, so that's your final one. In whatever colors you want, you can change your colors or do it the same. Okay, I've taken these out of the package. There's your cleaner, there's your gold paint, and this is your glue with a little pin in it. Okay, your gold paint, in order to use your gold paint, you have to shake it. So once it's shaken, you can use it on there. Once you've cleaned your brush, clean your brush with your cleaner. So then you can add gold. And it also dries fairly quickly. Um, I'm just going to add some gold on my leaves. On the petals of the flowers, I mean. can see better in the light there we go okay so I'm just going to add my gold once I've added my gold then I might want to add a little bit of glitter here's the glitter on this glass so you can see I've just done some dots of glue and I've done some like a trail of of um, of glue around the outside of the glass and then I'm going to dip my glitter but I'm going to show you but ladies do undo the staple undo the staple because if you pull it, the glitter might go everywhere. So undo the staple with your nail or, or a little um, a knife or something. Okay, so I'm going to take my the back of my paintbrush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue out. You can take it out and put it here on the mat. And then you can either take um, a cotton bud or you can take finger or something okay so I'm going to do some 
um, also here. It's going to dry clear, so it won't be green. Okay, so I'm going to do put my glue on here, and then I'm just going to take. some glitter on the cotton bud and just use that just tapping off the excess when it's dry you'll be able to tap off the excess okay so there so that's this one I still got a little bit over here take it off so it's got some gold petals and it's got some some glitter on the insides of the flowers so you can put as much as little or little as you like um, or you don't have to put any okay so ladies I'm just going to show you um, what I've done to this I've put some glitter down the sides I've put some on the petals I've put some at the bottom okay so I'm just going to show you I'm just going to add a little piece over here just to show you how um, I've done it because I'm just using the back of the um, I'm just using the back here okay, so I'll kind of pull it into the shape that I want it okay so I've just sort of pulled it into the shape and then I've added some glitter onto my book onto this piece of plastic and I'm not rolling it per se but I'm dipping it I'm just dipping it and where the glue is it'll pick it up okay and then when it's dry then I'll take a dry earbud so I can I can tap some of this off but when it's dry you see it's left a few um a few spaces here so I'm just using a dry earbud and I'm cleaning it off because it will really stick to where you've put the glue so I'm just cleaning sort of the excess off where it's not a proper triangle shape I'm just cleaning the excess okay over here there's just some on the side okay I'll learn from my mistake don't do it when it's wet because I've just pulled the I've just pulled the color off there so don't do it when it's wet do it when it's dry so this one's dry so I'm just I'm just cleaning the shape cleaning where it's not stuck on the glue Okay, so that one, that one's still wet and when it's dry you can clean off the excess don't do it before so I've just pulled it off I've just pulled off the color okay okay ladies so hopefully you'll all do very well and show me in your in your whatsapp group I'd love to see them all and happy crafting and hopefully I'll see you next time if I see you next time Bye-bye.